Hey folks, welcome to the Creo Spin. Today we're going to be diving into the software for the Creo Chimera wireless version. On opening the software, you're first introduced to the button mapping section. Here you can select any of the mouse mouse's buttons and assign it a function apart from its default setting. Any of them from this list can be chosen. Next, we have the macro section, which we'll get into now. Then we also have a combo function, wherein any multiple key presses can be assigned to a single mouse. Next, we have the profile section. Here, up to four profiles can be saved with different button mapping settings for your different use cases or different games or any reason. Next, we have the macro section. Here, we can create a new macro. And once we have created a name, we select it and then hit record. Once recording, we can input our button presses and then say stop recording. Now, this macro can be assigned to any button on the mouse to carry out multiple uh, actions with just a single click. Then we have the settings section of the mouse. Uh, first up, we have pointer accuracy here, which can be adjusted to, you know, change the speed of your pointer movement even when set at any DPI. Uh, next, you have the scroll speed function, which adjusts the how quickly the scroll wheel moves up or down a web page or any section. Then we have firing speed, uh, which is basically your latency time, your input latency for how quickly you want to have the mouse respond to a click. And then we have the polling rate section, uh, which can be adjusted up to a thousand hertz, which we recommend leaving it set. On this side, we have the different DPI levels, which can be adjusted here uh, to be assigned to any specific DPI number of your preference and can be adjusted. Finally, we have the RGB section of the software, which has these presets, uh, which can be selected to light up and change the pattern of the RGB line, which runs behind the mouse. Finally, after making any changes, don't forget to click apply for them to take effect and be saved. Also a point to note here, uh, any changes made through the mouse can be saved only through either a wired connection or a 2.4 gigahertz connection. Bluetooth won't support changes made through the software. Now that you know, you're all set to go beyond limits. <laughs>